and welcome back to Cuckoo for Books. My name is Salva and today I will be reviewing The Crown, the final book in the selection by Kira Cass. This feels very, very emotional because not only is it the end of the series, but the book before this, The Air, was one of the very first books I reviewed on my booktube channel, which you can watch right over here when I was still goofy and... Well, not that different from today, I guess. Okay, what's up? I still don't hate Edelyn. I know a lot of people don't like her, and I was afraid that this book was gonna make me hate her and see what the other people saw. But nope, I still love her. What's up to the lovers of America? I still hate her. I still think that even as a mom, she still annoys me. I was really worried that this book was going to focus so much on the selection because it is the last book. At the end of the last book, she still wasn't close to choosing. Like, it was completely up in the air who she was gonna choose, so I thought, and I was very worried that this book was going to focus a lot on the selection, particularly because it's such a thin book compared to the other selection books. That being said, it didn't. It took on a lot of the politics in Alea, Edelin prepping for her role as queen, her very much thinking about what the future entails and what it will ask of her as queen. She is not well liked by people in Alea. To see her sort of deal with that and find ways around that and how she can be a queen regardless of that, it was a good direction to take the book in. You know, throughout the book, you really got to see her take on the responsibility and mantle of a monarch. And I really like that. For those who hate Edelin, this book should have made you love her because responsible. In the first book, it was her parents versus Edelin. They want the selection, she doesn't. I love how this book very much focused on her relationship with Maxon. They have a bond that she and America can never have because America was never born to be queen and Edelin and Maxon know what it's like to be born with such pressure and having to lead a whole country so I love how this book brought that out. There were so many scenes in the book where it was just her and Maxon just talking. One scene in particular that I of course loved but will save for the spoilery section of this review because it's the last book there's not much I can say without it being a spoiler so if you're all aboard the spoiler train come on jump on board with me. The idea of Edelyn becoming queen and asking her father to step down is not realistic. <laughs> But I liked it. It was a good decision to make plotline wise. I really liked how Kira Cass did it with the conversation and with eventually Maxon giving Edelyn her signet ring, him passing the torch to her. I thought that was a very well done scene. The coronation scene was great, if a little too short for my taste. Why didn't we get to see a wedding? It was probably in the Target bonus edition, wasn't it? If you guys are in the States and there was a bonus wedding scene, please leave it down in the comments below because the one I got was just wedding free. Do I approve of who she chose? Eh, I mean, I was okay with it. I really liked how up until like the last 10 pages, she was dead set on marrying Henry. And I was like, how is she gonna do this? Is she gonna be an adulterer? I didn't know how it was gonna end. So props for doing that and kind of making me all tense and nervous, Kira Cass. I mean, I was always team Hale and the revelation that he was gay with Ian shocked me really not really. I kind of saw it coming at the same time I thought he really would have made such a great prince consort. After Hale was dismissed as an option I was thoroughly team Kyle. At that point I wasn't too much into Eric, gotta say, gotta say. At the end her decision to turn it into a constitutional monarchy was a good one. I was afraid that either A she would give the throne over to Caden or B dissolve the monarchy completely. So the third option that we got, turn it into a constitutional monarchy, was a very very good one. I'm not too sure about the decision to make Lady Bryce part of the family because I felt like she had enough merit as an employee. So I don't get the last minute revelation that she was King Maxon's half sister. Was that in the first three books? I don't remember that. Is she leaving the door open for another selection book even though she said she was done? I don't know. And that about does it for my review on The Crown by Kira Cass. You can follow me on my other bookish adventures on Twitter and Instagram, both at Cuckoo for Books. Please subscribe. I will see you guys next Sunday or sooner for my next video. Bye guys!